Hi, I'm the rancher. And I'm the wife. Good morning. It is chilly, but it's a very exciting day because it is lambing season. And when we head out to the barn, we never know if we're gonna find a new baby lamb in there this time of year. I've also gotta go feed some bottle lambs their breakfast because their mama rejected them. So I've got them on the bottle and we also have a black mama ewe who looks like she's going into milk. So we're gonna keep a close eye on her and see if we're not gonna get some new lambs here very soon. You get the other bottle out here. I'm thinking we definitely have some lambs after what I saw last night. So here are two of our bottle babies for this year. Their mama had triplets and rejected these two. She only kept the firstborn. And that mama will headbutt them and knock them away. She'll hurt them or kill them because she doesn't think that they're her babies. So we've got to take them on and we become mommy and daddy and they rely on us for everything. They've got to drink their milk every two hours when they're first born, morning, uh, day, and night. And then after that, it goes to four hours and finally we'll wean them until they're just on hay on their own. So that's what I'm doing here is bottle feeding these, these babies. This one?
<laughs> Behold, children are a gift of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. So we like to give our pigs all the table scraps. Anything left over from the family goes to the pigs. Some Canada geese going by, that's cool. But so, we only have one pig left right now. She is a Mangalitsa Berkshire mix. And this is her last day on the farm and her last day on planet Earth. She is going to feed our pastor and his family and his children. She was raised for that purpose. She's had an amazing life. I pulled her from the birth canal, latched her onto mama, took care of her the second she was born. She got to root out here in the sunshine and play in the mud and have the best possible life a pig could have. Instead of uh, some commercial pig that's raised on a concrete floor and never sees the sun, never sees dirt, never gets to put that snout to work, uh, our pigs are living the life out here. So although it's obviously bittersweet when you send um, an animal to the freezer, my wife and I do all our own slaughter and butchery. We don't pay anyone to do that. That's what we do, whether we're hunting or raising stock. We do it all ourselves. So it's a full, full cycle that we see from birth to death and then ultimately nourishing our family or another family. Doesn't mean she can't enjoy some delicious scraps, cinnamon, fresh eggs, raw milk. There she is enjoying some scraps. to make milk again for the bottle babies we've been making milk about every four hours right now um, unless they start calling out for us because I know they can see me through the window so they sometimes are like meh we need milk so yeah so I'll make milk for them if they do that but every four hours is about the time that we've been waiting to do milk I make the milk and then I give it to the kids and then they run it out to the lambs and they feed them and it's such a wonderful chore for the kids because they love the lambs. I'd say they want to spend most of the day out with the lambs. After doing homeschool, they go and run out and play with them and pretend they're sheep and all that stuff. So it's pretty cute. There's very fancy ways of making milk for bottle babies. I know some people make the milk perfect temperature. And honestly, I just don't have time for that. So 
I, I kind of call it the busy mom way. I, I think I call a lot of the things I do busy mom way, but um, I'll just make it super hot out of the tap and then blend it with the powder. And by the time it gets out there, it's usually a perfect temperature. I do check it just in case, like as the kids are running out, making sure it's not too hot, but, but it's usually perfect. Um, and then they just gobble it up and they're doing so good. Our bottle babies are doing so good. It's really exciting because once in a while you can have a bottle baby that isn't as healthy as a normal lamb should be, but these are doing wonderfully, which is really exciting. All right, so I'm gonna make the milk and then you'll get to see the kiddos just run it out to them. Rain or shine, these girls are out there doing their chores. And the snow or whatever it takes. Well, it's 25 degrees out and we got three farm kids out there bottle feeding lambs. Doing whatever it takes to get the chores done. Not a lot of kids ages uh, three to seven would be out there in one layer of clothing bottle feeding sheep when it's cold out, but you gotta do it on the ranch. There's no, no choice. It's gotta get done. And that's one of their chores every two hours. So it's the next morning here after I thought one of the sheep would be going into labor and I'm looking out and Blackie appears to be having contractions to me. I'm waiting for water to break or some more pawing. I think she'll start pawing. See the pawing of the ground? So she's making her nest. Paw on the ground. She's definitely feeling some contractions. She's gonna be having some lambs today. So she separated herself from the flock over there, black mama. And all the other sheep are hanging out here and we're just sitting here from a distance watching, waiting. So see how she's separate from everybody. Normally she'd be over here. So she's separating herself. So mama just dropped her first lamb here. There's more to come, I'm sure. She's cleaning her off. Got her separated here in this little jug. 
Here it comes. Here, Bella. Here it comes. Okay, we have number two on the ground. And we've confirmed the first one is a girl. So everyone was right. Everyone guessed girl, right? Yeah. Hopefully we have one more in there. He's trying to get his legs. Well, what do you think, guys? Two lambs down. Oh yeah, here comes the third, guys. You ready? Here it comes. Oh no, that's the front hooves. We got front hooves coming. There's a face, we got a white face. It's like the, that's like a sister. Look at that. To twist. Uh -oh. We got triplets. That was the guess, right guys? Two beautiful white ones and a nice dark black one in the middle. Alright, so we're rewarding our good mama with a little bit of grain. She's gotten a few mouthfuls. Now she's back to cleaning off the babies. But she's gonna have to produce a lot of milk for three babies, so we're gonna get her on some grain as a treat and to help her stay strong. She did a great job so far, hasn't rejected anybody, and is doing an awesome job. Good mama. Okay, well that was a success. Three beautiful female lambs, three beautiful ewe lambs. We are very excited, that was awesome. Caught all three of them on camera and uh, got to watch it as a family, the new additions to the ranch. So a very exciting day, very, very exciting. Mama's helping one of them get latched on there, find the teat, making sure they're all getting colostrum. Seen all three of them nerfed, so that's great.
sourdough time. We're gonna read the uh, read the good book. Yeah. I have a little bit of sourdough.